I think in a state where our motto is united we stand, divided we fall, uh, it's important that we not let any part of Kentucky get left behind. Clearly there are challenges and opportunities in health care uh, that we haven't seen since the implementation of Medicare and Medicaid in the 60s. Truly, everything is transformed. But I think what we have to, the, 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 uh, the real emphasis of, of my work here is that we've got to manage this transition. If we think it's just going to work itself out organically, I think the net result could be closure of a lot of, a lot of hospitals that we depend to, uh, on to provide care to a lot of sick people and to provide jobs to a lot of uh, hardworking people. And you talked about the model that works and the next governor is going to have to implement that sort of thing. What do you think the role of the next governor will be and what all does that entail to implement that system? Well, the next governor, I think, needs to adopt the same uh, leadership model that we used in the impl implementation of Connect. Now, whether you're for Connect or against it is immaterial. I think everyone agrees that implementation of it went really well compared to the rest of the country. And that system worked because, it had, because we had a governor who had rolled up his sleeves and was intimately involved in the work and his cabinet secretary, all the way down to the techies who were working on the exchange, knew of his involvement and they, they broke it down and they had uh, regular reports and that's why it worked. And I think going forward, the next governor has got to drill down into Medicaid in particular because it's such a huge investment and represents such an enormous opportunity to change our terrible health outcomes in Kentucky. But Jacqueline, this isn't something that you can do just reading some talking points. This is really going to require a lot of study, not just on but on, on the part of the new governor, but our elected officials, because I think this is as big of a challenge as we have anywhere in Kentucky. Well, and on Medicaid, you noted a statistic that there are more people on Medicaid than there are in the public schools. How do we fix that? Well, what it means is, is that there's clearly a connection, and we have done a better job as a state of manufacturing folks who aren't uh, able to seize economic opportunity and aren't healthy, and we got to change that. And the way you do that is with world-class education. You do it with pro-growth policies that create the economic environment where people are more able to be self-sufficient. But those are long-term goals. In the short term, we've got to make sure that the particular Particularly, the healthcare system is working better in a way that is the deal is square for patients, providers, and taxpayers. And you do that by, uh, by, by smoothing the rougher edges of managed care. You do that by helping uh, providers uh, navigate the complexity that comes with the Affordable Care Act. And you do it by trying to grow the economy overall. But if we just take our hands off to clear victory, uh, it will never work like it ought to.